Hey guys, Dre Avent back for part two with 19 year old surf phenom Malia Osterkamp. She's really been doing a lot of big things. She took a break, came back to the surf world. She's making a huge name for herself globally at such a young age. And in part one, we talked about the things she's working on as a surfer, various things that she's gonna be doing goal-wise, trying to achieve this year as the year is coming to a close. And now we're gonna talk a little bit about San Clemente. She's from San Clemente. A lot of great surfers have come from San Clemente. And what do you think is just the ultimate reason why so many great surfers come from San Clemente? I know you said the waves, but mm -hmm. we're in California. There's a lot of great waves up and down the coast. What is it about San Clemente where people just really shine in the surf world? Um, I believe that, you know, lower trestles, that's like okay. the main wave and everyone wants to go there all mm -hmm. the time. And I think that brings together a group of people that at some point become like really good and that group hangs out together and it's just like they push each other. Yeah. Like all the surfers, like we all know each other and we push each other. And it's just, you're always around, you know, people that just want to surf all the time. And then it's yeah. just- It's just part of the you. culture. Yeah. It's just part of the culture. And speaking of that, I know your brother Hendrik, he's- yeah really making some big moves in the surf world. I know your mom is also here. She's off camera. So it's it's a family affair with surfing and everything. What's impressed you the most about your brother and just the impact that he's been able to make at an even younger age? He's actually motivated me more than anyone lately, especially. Wow. Yeah, he okay. he always wants to surf. He even, you know, study, studies his own surfing and wants to be that much better. Okay. And um, what I like about him a lot is that he's, He's very focused on himself and he doesn't worry too much about other people. Okay. And um, that you can see it in his surfing. He's he's like blown up in the last couple of months. He's gotten yeah. like he's jumped like so many levels. Yeah, so. I've noticed that and, and that's a big, you know, piece of advice to anyone. Just kinda worry about yourself. Don't worry about haters or whatever someone else is doing. Just focus on your craft and you'll continue to rise up. All right, well, Leah, well, it's time for the three minute play with DA. Rapid fire question showing more about your favorite athletes outside of what they do, whatever sport that it is that they're into. So we're gonna find out more about Malia's personality. So Malia, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we do a little of this before we start. Boom, 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 we're ready. <laughs> All right, well, I know you like rock music. Mm -hmm. So who is your favorite rock band right now? Um, even though, sadly, I can't see them, but Nirvana. Okay, that from sounds, back in the day. Sounds yep. super cliche, but. Old school. I've studied a lot about them. <laughs> really? What's yeah. the What's the best thing about them with all the studies that you've done? Why do they stand out as just such an epic group over just so many years? Um, probably because they just weren't mainstream. They didn't really care to make it big. They just made their own music mm -hmm. and it they made it big, but you know. Yeah. They didn't worry about making it big. They just made their own music. And I really like the way they um, expressed like emotion mm -hmm. to their songs. And they just let it flow. Yeah. Like you said, have you done, how many mosh pits have you done? I'm so, <laughs> I see those and I'm like, there's no way I'm getting in that. But you probably love them. So just what's up? Tell me just about the mosh pit experience. And does it, is it as scary when you're in there as it is when you're looking at people that are doing it? Or how does it go? Actually, it's <laughs> it's way scarier when you're thinking too much about it, standing right outside of it. You're just like, you see that's all these people. Freak, that's what scares me. I'm like, there's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> But then once you get in, I don't know, it's just like a whole nother feeling. It's a lot of adrenaline. Okay. And um, my mom's not a big fan of it, but. Yeah, she's like, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're like, mom, you're not here. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Gotcha. No, well, yeah, you don't want to do it. Like you could become a pro, so you like kind of know. Is There's there, like, a, way. a safe way to like. Yeah, wash? and you also. I mean, for me at least, I don't want to go in when there's like really scary bigger guys in yeah, there because no. you know there's some weird guys that just punch and mm -hmm. that you don't want to be around that. So there's a time <laughs> and like <laughs> gotta be you have careful. To feel the vibe. Yeah, like, okay, totally. Not my time. Go go yeah. go. Well, you mentioned yeah. guys, and I know you're a, a little bombshell, a little 19 year old bombshell. I know the guys love you on Instagram and things like that. So they probably want to know what's your type? What's your type of guy? What are some of the qualities that you look for in a guy? Um, well, definitely outgoing and, yeah. and funny. Okay. Has to be really funny. Um, kind of, I don't know, like, I'm kind of weird sometimes, so they got to, like, be weird too. <laughs> <You> too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah exactly yeah so and who's your celebrity crush then if you like you had to pick one guy it could be oh in my the goodness. music world or it could be in the surf world who's like you're oh. like man he's cute 
That's so hard to pick. I know there's, there's so many celebrities. Like <laughs> <laughs> you um, can do like a top two or a top three if you feel like that's easier. Well, probably first one is Surf World, Julian Wilson. Uh-huh, he's cute. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely number one. Okay. And then um I I don't know, like I'm not really in the mainstream music yeah, you're thing right now, like so I'm on the fringes. Yeah. I like that about you, though. That's cool. You can stay with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll just stay with okay. him. Okay. <laughs> stay with Jay. All right. Well, what is the best book that you've ever read or the most recent book that you loved? Okay. Whichever one comes for to your mind first. Girls on Fire. I'm um, more than halfway through right now. It's it's so good. It's I can't put it down. It's like the Girls best. Girls on book. fire. Yeah. Okay. What's what's like without telling me or telling everybody what's what it's about? What's like the main premise of it? Because I've never even heard of that book. Um, it's basically like it's a, it's about two girls and they're in high school and like their friendship is almost like toxic and it kind of harms other people and that's re that's real yeah sometimes that's high school yeah. you know what i'm saying like sometimes that goes in so when did you finish that when did you um that i'm actually more than halfway through right now so okay. not done yet but okay. it's it's really good i've it's i got it like two weeks ago so very cool so we yeah. still don't know the ending yet but so far we're rocking with this book yep all right what's your number one pet peeve mine is la traffic <laughs> being from out here it's like takes me three hours to get everywhere so what's your thing that you're like oh i really hate when this happens or really like what's that one thing that you're like oh, this is annoying for me loud chewing yes <laughs> <laughs> i can't like, i can't I was sitting next to somebody <laughs> last night at a restaurant that was doing that so i feel you I can't, I can't, I can't, I have to leave. Like, <laughs> have you literally done that? Yeah, I've done so that. Some, okay, so you're sitting next to someone and you're just like, I'm out. Yeah. I can't rock with you anymore. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, we both like to laugh. So who's your favorite comedian? So ah. like to be funny. We're, we're kind of funny and it's, weird. It's Kevin Hart count. Yeah. 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 Kevin Hart. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Hart's in my top two as well. I love Kevin Hart and he's doing a lot of great things in the community right now. So that's awesome as well. Okay. Last one. What's your go-to dress? I mean, you're wearing a cute dress right now, <laughs> but when you like are going out, when you're not surfing, or when you just go out to dinner with your parents or with your friends, what's that outfit? Like, what's that go-to dress or that go-to look where you're like, this is my nighttime look. I feel confident, Ooh. I feel girly. What's that thing? Probably, um, first thing, shoes. So, yeah. platform. I like to How wear high? platform. Oh. Um, chunky, but like, probably like that. Yeah. But like, so not like, this but you know like straight across platform so you can like, but, like have more balance yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm actually really i have a lot of heels some red bottoms and i fall i'm very clumsy <laughs> i'm like non-coordinated yeah but that's cute okay what about the dress then so and then the shoes um either like a really nice like high-waisted skirt with a matching top or just like a if it's like a nice occasion then like a tighter dress mm -hmm. so yeah yeah cool. what, what color though i have a go-to black one that's like it kind of fits in all different settings. It's like yeah. right, BCBG black. I love red. Okay. Yeah. Red. But fire. not like a cliche red dress. More, more like, like, a, like a, a like a wine red or something, or like what kind of red? Like a you know like a bright red, but not like a plain bright red. Maybe right. like some little cutouts or something. Right. Something to make it like pop a pop, little bit more, yeah. be a little bit more different. Because Malia is definitely different. Well. <laughs> Malia, thank you so much. I just want to thank your mom for being here off camera. She's an amazing woman, your brother. Shout out to him, everyone. And Malia, before we close out, is there anything you want to let everybody know about and promote? Or is there anything else that you kind of want your fans to know about before we close out? Um, just know to work hard towards what you want and never give up because if you think it, you can do it. So. Absolutely. That would be my advice as well. Some of the things I've gone through in my life, just never give up. So Malia, once again, thanks again. Thank you. And everybody look out for part one. This is part two. Dre Avent, Malia Osterkamp. <laughs> We're doing big things at the park, talking about surfing. Thanks for watching.